he's a hitting machine. And the hits just keep on coming for the Iowa Western softball team. Never say die. The Falcons didn't. Battled the Knights into sudden death. The Saints, yet to lose. Does another Catholic school have something to say about that? When was the last time the Reavers didn't win the regional? The answer, blowing in the wind. On the Bluff Sports Zone, it starts right now. Hello, I'm JJ Davis, and welcome to another edition of the Bluff Sports Zone. Now, you know, every time I turn around, another team from Iowa Western is headed to the national tournament. The softball team is no exception. The 12th ranked Reavers, another exceptional season, and so has a certain leadoff hitter. Look at these numbers put up by Rebecca Sanchez. The super soft from California has played in 53 games. 89 hits in 177 at bats, so Sanchez is hitting a school record a whopping 503. That ranks fifth in the nation. And look at the other stat. Number four scored 53 runs in 53 games. That is stellar stuff. And the awards? Well, of course, first team all region, athlete of the year, defensive player of the year in the region. So let's hear from the 5'4 dynamo herself. Here's IW TV student Chat Ani. Iowa Western getting ready to swing the bats at the Canyons Complex in St. George, Utah. The Reavers will need their all-around star, Rebecca Sanchez, to lead the way. I've always been uh, more focused on my hitting and uh, just trying to get on base so that I can score runs for my team. Um, but this year I've been really relaxed at the plate and uh, just kind of trying to just make it on base, whether it's by walk, hit by pitch, or by base hit. She's a spark that we need right away. You know, she's our leadoff kid, and, and when she gets on, it seems to, you know, put everybody else at ease and, and know that, you know, hey, we're going to get this done. So she's a huge spark for us at the start of the lineup. Um, and, you know, defensively, she, you know, she's only made one error in her two years that she's been here. So defensively, she's just as good. But she's that spark at the top of our lineup, and that's what we're really looking for. Rebecca is a great hitter. She's very consistent and it's great to have her as our leadoff hitter because it's always great to have that big hit at the beginning of the game to get us going. And whenever we need a, a hit and there's somebody on base, usually Becca gets that done. And it's really great to have a, te a teammate like that. Three on three, one, two, three. Yeah, it was definitely um, kind of a tough road going in to regionals just because we had lost our first two before that. But um, I knew that we'd come out on top just because we always just kind of come back. <laughs> Winning districts was crazy good for us, especially because it's um, most of our sophomore years. So trying to go out with a bang, and I'm really excited about nationals. Sanchez takes her bat to nationals as the Reavers look to take the next step. For the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm Chad Oni. Thanks, Chad. Now, next stop for Rebecca Sanchez and the Reavers, the 16-team national tournament. And it all starts Wednesday, May 15th. Six-seeded Iowa Western at 41 and 12 will go to bat against number 11 Lakeland College from Illinois in a first-round game. Now the Lakers 49 and 5. Game time Wednesday night 7:30 Central Standard Time. Now remember, it's a double elimination tournament, and we'll have highlights on next week's show. Next to some high school soccer, the Saints are going where no Saints team has gone before, but. What about the Falcons? Next. At Council Bluff Savings Bank, our goal is to help you, your families, and your businesses grow and prosper for generations. We take pride in our community, whether it's volunteering our time or helping individuals, families, and businesses succeed. We provide you with the personal service and attention you deserve. With over 220 years of banking experience, decisions are made locally. We are Council Bluffs people operating at Council Bluffs Bank to help Council Bluffs be a better place to work and live. Council Bluffs Savings Bank, hometown banking, the way it used to be. Member FDIC. Ah! 
The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. My name's Eddie Metcalf. I enjoy working in my yard. And, you know, I can't. I can't do that anymore because I'm missing most of my lung. They did a CAT scan of my kidneys. No more kidney stones, that's the good news, but we found a spot on your lung. That frankly scared the hell out of me. I hadn't smoked in 22 years. How could this happen to me? He said, well, you know about radon gas. Well, you know, I heard about it. He said, well, the second leading cause of cancer in America is radon. 22,000 people a year die from this. I literally left the doctor's office, got a test kit, put it in the house, and our result was a 39.8. The upper limit is four. We gotta get this fixed. That was on a Monday, and on Wednesday, our mitigation system was up and running. Well, I think everybody should have their house tested. We'd never known we'd still be living there. I could get another tumor from it. But right now, it's changing my life. I'm lucky. Let me help you with that. I get to do something I love. It has nothing to do with touchdowns or titles. Everybody bring it in. I get to play a part in the life of someone just starting out. How many of you think homework is just as important as teamwork? I help keep kids in school. Good. And that's the name of the game. My name is LaDainian Thomason. I don't just wear the shirt. I live it. Give. Advocate. Volunteer. Live United. What does the world need? Iowa Western. The world is waiting. This portion of the Bluff Sports Zone brought to you by the St. Albert Alumni Association. This one, a struggle. And in the end, a tough one to lose for either team. Now, it's been an up and down season for the St. Albert boys soccer team. In fact, this year's club has yet to win more than two in a row. Now the Falcons hit the ground running against the Knights. The Kemper keeper, busy from the get-go. Just over two minutes into the game, Falcons, free kick. Francisco Barajas finds the back of the net. The juniors' sixth goal of the season, and St. Albert's on the board. But the Knights tie it, and then here off the set piece, Cooper Kane behind the defense. Kemper Catholic is up 2-1 to one at the break. It gets even colder for St. Albert fans in the second half. Just over 12 minutes left. With the cross, Kirby Axman here in front just punches it in. His second goal of the game. And the visitors are up 3-1. to one. But the Falcons cut it to one. Then off a corner kick with two and a half minutes to go. Trey Tietzort with the header. 3-3 three, three game. Headed into sudden death. Two 10-minute halves. Golden goal wins it. Shake hands and come out kicking. Kemper with the corner, under three to go in the first half, and Josh Earlbeck with the header, and the Knights knock off St. Albert four to three. Told the kids we really appreciate their uh, their effort that last five minutes to come back. They're down 3-1, they get it tied up, uh, going to the OT, and honestly, we had a couple chances there uh, at the end of the game to finish. Does this game sum up your season so far, this type of game? Uh, it, you hit the nail on the head, JJ. I mean, they, uh, we've, uh, we've missed so many opportunities to finish. Uh, we probably could have had at least, at least two, possibly three more wins if we would just finish. In fact, last year we were winning these kind of games, and this year's kind of just a turnaround. Now we're, we're losing these 2-1, one, one zeros, whatever. So, but we'll get it fixed. Right now, it hurts. Use that for the rest of the season, every practice. The season heats up with four games in five days beginning May 13th. And for St. Albert, at seven and seven, it's gut check time. Falcons on three. One, two, three. Falcons! Okay. tomorrow. <laughs> what a way to lose after coming back. But as you heard Coach say, it's been that kind of year for the Falcons. Six of their seven losses, 
by one goal. St. Albert and even Stevens 7-7. Seven and, seven. and remember, the Falcons only five home games this season. Lewis Central hanging in there at 7-5. The Titans lost a tough one to the Warriors in the Norwalk Tournament 2-1 in a shootout. LC has lost three of its last four. AL has dropped three in a row. The Lynx sink to 4-9. The Yellow Jackets, five games under 500. TJ's lost three straight and five of its last six. From the pitch to the diamond, deja vu all over again for the Reavers. Same deal for the Saints after the break. The odds of this daughter of a clergyman spending 11 weeks at number one on the U.S. singles charts? One in 19 million. The odds of going on to win six Grammy Awards? One in 1.4 million. The odds of having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 110. I'm Tony Braxton, and I encourage you to learn the signs of autism at AutismSpeaks.org. What's that? I don't know. Something I kind of made. Ooh, what's it do? What do I do? Well, thanks for asking. I ring my bell and I like to dance. What do I do? Well, thanks for asking. I ring... Ow! Yeah, it still needs a little work. Anything's possible. Keep thinking. Get started on your own inventions or just play some games at inventnow.org. Thanks to ASI and my free hearing evaluation, my life has changed for the better. One in five Americans suffer from varying degrees of hearing loss. Over 85% of people with hearing loss can be effectively treated with digital hearing instruments from ASI. Thank you, ASI, for allowing me to hear all the things I haven't heard in years. ASI, providing better hearing and better living for 35 years. G morning, sunshine. Wakey, wakey. Text me. I think it might be one of the Are your parents home later? We can hang. LUV, love you. JK. Holla back. Holla back. Holla back. <laughs> Are you with your friends? That's lame. We're in a huge fight right now. XO. What'd you dream about? Something I did. Are you on your way to the mall? I'm lonely. Nude pics. Send me some. Text me. kitchen surfaces, utensils, and hands with soapy water. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. No team covers Southwest Iowa sports like the team at Jenny Edmondson Sports Medicine. For nearly 25 years, Jenny Ed Sports Med certified athletic trainers have cared for thousands of area athletes and their schools. And our partnering physicians at Nebraska Orthopedics help ensure you're taken care of from diagnosis through rehab. If you need to be seen now, come by our Saturday morning walk-in clinic. It's open all fall from 8 to 9.30 a.m. Jenny Edmondson Sports Medicine. This portion of the Bluff Sports Zone brought to you by Corum's Flowers and Gifts and Counts of Bluffs for over 100 years. Online specials and giveaways on Facebook. When was the last time the St. Albert girls soccer team went undefeated this late in the season? Big things expected from the Saints this year, and they have not disappointed. St. Albert returns 10 starters from 2012, including four All-State players. So, home or away, it doesn't matter. Windy, overcast, not exactly ideal for soccer. The Saints come storming out with the cross, Allison Cox, wide left. St. Albert doing everything right. Check out the passing. Number 11 again, this time wide right. Most of the game played on the Kemper Catholic side of the field and most of the shots off the mark. The Saints doing everything but score. Corner kicks, you name it. So close, but so far. 
just over 10 minutes left in the first half. Allison Cox here just sidesteps the keeper. Nothing to it. Her 16th goal of the season as St. Albert finally breaks through. Out. Times when she comes out, she doesn't get back in. They can't kick it. I'm the Bad hair day at the half, but calmly passing out some notes. Second half, more the same. The Saints dominating, but not finishing. St. Albert outshoots the Knights. Get a load of this, 19 to nothing. Jenna Cox here, seven of those shots. The third ranked Saints just keep coming. Record their fifth shot out of the year, blanking Kemper Catholic, one to zip. We're just having a hard time getting the balls in the back of the net right now, and, and um, um, I'm not real sure what to do today, the truth. And the other thing too is a lot of people were playing out of position tonight because we got some players gone to the district track meet, so some starters are here gone. So that that made a little bit of difference. Undefeated. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> First time when we've ever gotten this far undefeated, I, I can tell you that. St. Albert's given up just six goals in ten games. Next up, five in four days, and all on the road. You know, it's one thing to have the numbers, the players, the talent, but it's another to get things done, to not rest on your laurels. And you know what? The Saints are doing just that. St. Albert won three more games at the Waverly Shell Rock Tournament and get a load of these scores. Seven to nothing, nine to zip, and four to one. So I'd say the Saints are on a mission to not just make it to the state tournament, but to win a game for the first time in school history. The sixth ranked team in class 2A loses its last two, as Lewis Central loses to the fifth ranked team in class 1A, Nevada, two to nothing. The fourth ranked team in class 2A, Dallas Center Grimes, blanks the high scoring Titans three to zip. So LC drops to eight and four. AL drops out of the rankings, as the Lynx have lost three in a row and four of their last five. TJ now five and nine, and the Jackets have been shut out in three of their last four losses as the high school soccer season marches on. Chalk up another plaque for the Iowa Western baseball team. Which one is it this time? On the other side. this log. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I like the big black ones. I like the brown wiggly ones. Mm, I like the green crunchy ones myself. Whoa. Get out and explore nature. There's surprises everywhere. Go to discovertheforest.org. <gasps> Anyone up for dessert? So my uncle calls and he says he's dizzy and he's losing his balance. I'm like, Uncle, you want me to take you to a doctor? He's like, no, I'm going to look up the symptoms. I said, your symptoms are you're dizzy and you're losing your balance. So he said, I can't get on the internet because my arm is numb. I said, well, use your good arm and dial 911. Stroke's no joke. If you or someone you love is showing symptoms of stroke, don't wait because it might be too late. Dial 911. Time lost is brain loss. At Flex Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, our goal is to get you back to normal as quickly as possible. That's why we use techniques like our 830 laser therapy. Low level light finds injured tissue, energizing cells to help reduce pain instantly while jump starting the healing process. Ligaments and tissues grow stronger than normal healing and when inflammation is reduced, it stays away. The 830 laser at Flex Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine. The therapist you know, the care you trust. Hey, Mom. You know, girls, I used to cheer back in my day. Ready? Okay! Go, team! That was amazing. 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 Mom. That was amazing. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of siblings in foster care who'll take you just as you are. All right, guys, we gotta be smarter about what we bite on, okay? I want everyone to go outside. We're gonna run Red Rover on three. What about you, Tony? I'm gonna run around in circles, flap my arms, and make engine noises, like this. 
When it comes to playing, we kids are the pros. We're eating right, too. We fuel up. To play 60! Your school doesn't have a program? Be a leader. Start one. Click today and join, join the movement. movement! What does the world need? What will you become? Iowa Western. The world is waiting. This portion of the Bluff Sports Zone brought to you by Cutler O'Neill, Meyer Woodring, family owned funeral home, serving Council Bluffs in Southwest Iowa for over 100 years. The Iowa Western baseball team just keeps on keeping on. Same old story at the regional. The fourth ranked Reavers head to Muscatine as the number one seed. Oh, gee, that's a surprise. <laughs> the defending champs in for a surprise, though, courtesy of the host Cardinals. Muscatine leads 4-2 heading into the seventh inning of their first round game. But a two-run double by Luke Tavis takes care of that. Iowa Western puts three more on the board in the eighth, and the Reavers are on their way. Head coach Mark Reardon wins his 500th career game. Pitcher Sean Johnson goes seven to pick up the win against Indian Hills. Strong pitching continues in the regional championship game. James Darcy and Iowa Western wipe out Nemesis Marshalltown nine to zip. The Reavers win the regional for the ninth year in a row. It took us a while, but we started getting some hits that mattered. We were racking up hits, but uh, we weren't getting any when they mattered. Two outs, guys the second and third. And once we broke that seal and started doing that, it really relaxed us a lot more, and uh, we showed up and played some good baseball. We worked our tail off and we won three. I think I've got just as many texts and emails from uh, all the people and doing this for 18 years, uh, uh, about 500 wins for myself. Um, and the, the, the nine regionals in a row, I mean, I respect the game. And when you, you respect the game, you talk about the consistency and to go um, nine years in a row and win it at the regional and that means that you know not every hop goes your way or call or the weather conditions anything like that you, you're not letting it overcome you and uh, you adapt and you find ways to win and that's what we've done and I think that's impressive. Impressive enough to have another shot at a district title against an as yet unnamed opponent impressive enough to have a shot at another national championship. The third for the Reavers in four years. And finally, to the unsung heroes of track and field. The state meet gets underway May 16th through the 18th. So anybody from this neck of the woods running to Des Moines? At last report in class 4A, Council Bluffs kids qualified in just five events. Just two individual qualifiers. Lewis Central's Jacob Barrens throws the discus 161 feet 3 inches, a career best, and finishes second at the state qualifier in Urbandale. Now remember the top two in each event head to state. Titan high jumper Amanda Schoenig places second as well, cleared five feet. Team qualifiers. Abraham Lincoln finishes second in the shuttle hurdle relay as well as in the distance medley. TJ takes second in the 3200 meter relay. St. Albert boys win the class 2A qualifying meet in Greenfield. The Falcons qualify for state in nine different events. Eric Johnson second in the 100 at 11.33. Ryan Wettengill wins the 200 with a time of 22.88. The quarterback Tucker Coljack takes second in the 400 and wins the 400 hurdles. Just one qualifier for the Saints. Chrisanne Stephanie takes second in the 400. Now back to the guys. Evan Segris comes in second in the 3200. Now the Falcons qualify in four relays. The 400, the 800 in which St. Albert wins at the qualifying meet. St. Albert also wins the 1600 meter run as well and finishes second in the distance medley relay. So the state meet just about set. Good luck to all of the gang from Council Bluffs. And again, I feel like we've just run the race. What do you think? First? Second? Don't answer that. At least we make it to the next round. 
to next week, and we'll pick it up again then. So as always, for the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm J.J. Davison. I'll see you around.